we'll talk about what are the different career options you can explore in financial analytics so if you're interested in financial analytics you can have career in various areas and i'm going to be talking about what these areas are the first one is in market risk modeling most of the banks have this department uh, called market risk modeling department um, and what is market risk modeling it's about using models to estimate uh, losses in in the movement of different market prices um, it's mostly related to uh, trading activities um, in different financial instruments such as interest rates equity commodities bonds and so on and so forth and uh, most of the banks are uh, uh, involved in such activities some more than the others um, but most of the banks have got uh, ma uh, trading activities they do trading activities and hence there is a market risk modeling department uh, that build mathematical models to estimate losses uh, in the movement of the market prices it involves a uh, lot of econometric modeling statistical modeling in particular about involves stochastic calculus time series uh, modeling also it involves uh, monte carlo simulations so if you have interest uh, in these areas you can explore then you have credit risk modeling in fact most of the banks in fact all of them uh, will have a department called credit risk modeling it's about using models to quantify expected losses from the default of loans and i think all the banks provide uh, loan um, various form of loan for example it could be student loan it could be corporate loan motor loan mortgage sme financing and so on and so forth so there are many types of uh, loans and there is always uh, a chance of default and in credit risk modeling what we normally do is that we build models that uh, predicts the probability of defaults and how much uh, loss is expected from those defaults so it involves uh, econometric modeling this is if you are familiar with uh, regression modeling classification uh, regression modeling and um, mostly regression modeling i would say like linear regression logistic regression that kind of modeling uh, then you can use your skill in this particular department uh, this department doesn't use much of financial mathematics so to say um, which is but different from market risk modeling where there is a heavy use of financial mathematics uh, and monte carlo simulation in in credit risk modeling there of course there is some use of monte carlo simulation but um, it the use is much much less I would say. then you have alm modeling alm stands for asset liability management uh, so all the banks have got this department so you have asset uh, as well as the liability side and you need to build models to manage assets and liability on your balance sheet so it involves interest rate modeling and liquidity risk modeling these two departments so you have the sub departments called interest rate risk modeling and then you have liquidity risk modeling uh, again a mix of econometrics financial mathematics and monte carlo simulations there are some standard models in interest rate modeling uh, which 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 are you can find in financial mathematical mathematics books and you have also liquidity risk modeling uh, liquidity risk modeling is somewhat easier compared to uh, interest risk risk modeling but nevertheless it uh, uses uh, econometrics and uh, some form of uh, statistical modeling and um, this is this department is very close to the market risk modeling in many in many banks uh, market risk modeling is very closely tied to the ala modeling department then you have pricing modeling so pricing is about use of models to value financial assets uh, this department is mostly um, associated with building models to price financial assets such as futures forwards so these are some of these uh, market uh, products which are often traded so you use models to uh, come up with the actual price of an option or a swap Right, you might have heard about black hole models and so on. So there's a uh, heavy use of stochastic calculus, and that's uh, heavily 
mathematical less statistical uh, the use of data statistic econometrics is somewhat little used less but uh, uh, more um, it's more of using um, bit theoretical mathematics to build models and there are a lot of standard models which are often tweaked to suit a given financial instrument uh, a very famous one is of course the black school model for which uh, the economists who came up with this model actually won uh, the nobel prize i think sometime in the mid 90s so if you have strong ma mathematical background you have a masters or phd in mathematics you can explore uh, in this department you can explore many uh, jobs in this department and you will find um, many jobs in investment banks actually uh, especially the us based investment banks you will have many jobs in this area and then you have operational risk modeling uh, somewhat new i would say so here you use models to quantify losses from the operational incident so operational incident do not happen uh, every day these are rare incidents and uh, regulators expect m banks to use models to actually forecast those in incidents and also to ec um, to quantify losses from these incidents these are rare events so there's some sp very specific statistical techniques used one famous one is the extreme value theory is used in operational risk modeling so if you have strong statistical or actual science background i think you can uh, explore trading quantitative modeling so this is very similar to uh, market risk and pricing modeling but the subtle differences for example is use of models to identify trading opportunity uh, all the uh, other areas that we have discussed so far actually come under the risk management department but this one the one that i am the trading quantitative modeling department is somewhat close to uh, risk management but more close to the trading department so it's more of a front office than a back office or a middle office so it's more of a profit center where you use quantity models to uh, build uh, trading strategies to, to to actually make money out actually right other department the risk management they do not actually make money for example in credit risk you don't directly make money but this is somewhat different you actually help the traders to make money uh, again it involves very basic statistics to highly sophisticated statistics or mathematics um, and even there are models from physics and computer science which are also used and beside banks when ba hedge funds and crypto trading firms these uh, firms also hire such people um, so these are actually people with uh, strong background in quantitative areas phd in stats or maths computer science physics engineering then you have economic research department so if you are an economist or statistician you are familiar with econometric modeling you are familiar with macroeconomic analysis so this department is involved uh, in forecasting macroeconomic variables for various reasons you know this report these reports are actually used by business people uh for for various things but these reports are also used for stress testing for ifrs 9 you know expected loss forecasting and all that stuff so the heavy use of econometric models and a lot of modeling technique use for example regression time series panel modeling and you know you, you must be really good in econometrics uh, but beside banks you can also work for other like research agencies and consulting firms um, such as Moody's or S&P, Oxford Economics, even the big four consulting firms, they hire in all these areas, right? Not just the banks, you can even you work in, in Deloitte or KPMG, uh, all these pla places. Then you have stress testing department. Now you have stress testing in all these areas actually, credit risk, market risk, operational risk and all that stuff. Sometimes you have just single stress testing department within the bank that deals with all kinds of stress testing, but you also have maybe a very specific stress testing for example credit stress testing or a market stress testing department so it's about using models to test sensitivity of the bank to adverse economic scenario so if in case there is something bad uh, going to happen what will be the impact on the bank so that's something the stress testing department uh, 
is concerned with. Then you have model validation. You have model validation for all the models, especially the regulatory models, the models which are uh, used in risk management. These have these models have to be uh, validated, or in simple word, we can say reviewed properly by model validators. So you have market risk model validation department, LM model validation department, credit risk model val validation department. For all these areas of modeling, you will have separate model validation department it could also be just one team doing all kinds of model validation okay and you have model validation department in uh, most of these banks in fact almost all the banks and insurance companies including some of these fintechs actually who have grown uh, in size they must have a model validation department you can't just build a model and implement them like in other firms in tech firms where they do not need to go through the models do not need to go through rigorous uh, review but in banks it's not the case every model has to be properly reviewed by a separate department called model validation department then you have something called quantitative it development so these are people who actually implement models in various areas market credit operational areas um, and these are actually developers but with some knowledge of models and they use C++, Python, C Sharp. So quantity develops are in huge demand actually. These are IT folks actually. They're, they're, they're technical people, uh, good in programming. Uh, but they must also have some knowledge of financial models, uh, quantity models and, and some knowledge of business. Then you have quantity of IT business analysts. Um, I've seen this that in most of the banks, Specifically in IT implementation of models, you have business analysts who having understanding of models algorithm that work with quantitative IT developers, uh, mostly in the mo model implementation area, and it's quite quite a good career option also. Uh, now these are analysts who cannot build models from scratch, but they have some understanding of models, and you know these are business you have business analysts scrum master project managers working in this area so there also you can make a career if you are for instance you have an mba you are not from strong quant background but you still want to work with the uh, quantitative department uh, then you can explore this particular area so these career options are for whom actually uh, if you have msc or phd statistics or you have a background in economics masters minimum masters and then you have a post graduation in a more technical area math physics or engineering even you have an mba with uh, a bachelor's degree in technical area uh, in some countries actually you have to have a master's degree to enter or to get jobs in these areas but uh, in for example in countries like india if you have a bachelor's degree in, in engineering or physics, you still can enter these areas. You can get jobs in these areas, especially those having good, uh, a very good mathematical background. But good to have master's degree. People always prefer master's over bachelor's degree uh, in these in these areas. Who are the potential employers? Well, the list is endless. Actually, there are like hundreds of companies hiring in these areas. Most of the banks, NBFIs, for example, CT, HSB, name a few, they hire uh, such people, insurance companies, fintechs and payment companies. More recently, they also hire. Uh, if you see job uh, sites, um, you have plenty of jobs in London, in many area, cities in the Europe, uh, in India, in, in many places where the newest tech companies, fintech companies uh, are also hiring uh, these for these roles then you have consulting firms they hire in big numbers kpmg pwc oliver ryman snp deloitte you know you have so many such companies and you have economic research companies such as oxford economics they hire uh, you know economists actually to do forecasting for macroeconomic variables and then you have it consulting firms ibm accenture such company capgemini these companies also hire consultants so, you know, as I said, there are like hundreds of companies uh, who hire, but uh, for fresher, I would say either you try to get into big banking organizations, the CTE or Barclay, such companies or consulting firms. And if you're more tech oriented, it's good to join the fintech firms as that's 
especially if you are young i would say fintech is also a very good option and if you have phd level education then try exploring hedge funds and you can also find out jobs in many top like the 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 high street banks as you call them the big banks morgan stanley goldman sachs and barclay and such places all right so if you have any questions please uh, drop me an email or you can also ask me in the comment section thank you and you can also contact me this is my email id or you can ask in the comment section